Okay, so the formula is x equals because you're solving for x intercept. Plus or minus because you're solving by square rooting technically. B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Okay, there's our formula. Now we're going to fill in a blank a little note, um, something I didn't have time to tell you yesterday. Oh, it's a lot. Okay. Fill in the blank. Yeah, I think it's uh, two sentences. Write them both. Can you... End a sentence with the word has. No. I am questioning my grammar. The discriminant identifies the tone. I don't think it's good, to be honest with you. I think it should be the identifies the types of solutions of quadratic equations. I think it should have some different kind of ownership word. I'll think on it. I want to say owns, right? Encompasses. The portion under the radical bar, so like this bit, b squared minus 4ac, we have an actual name just for that little bit. So the whole thing is the quadratic formula, and then that little bit has a name. It's called the discriminant. which sounds like an action movie title. The discriminant. Well, anything under radical bar is called a radicand. And the one under the um, formula is specifically called the discriminant. I could even, speaking upon grammar, we could go ahead and, and make this a proper name and capitalize it. That's the discriminant. That's the name of it. The discriminant identifies what types of solutions a quadratic equation has. I think correct would be the discriminant identified in a quadratic equation, the discriminant shows the solutions of a quadratic, no, I don't have it yet. All right, so let's take a look at the options. There's three possibilities when it comes to quadratic equations. Emily, can you put your phone away and keep it away? Everybody, put your devices away and keep them put away. All right, if b squared minus 4ac, which is the little part under the radical bar, if it works out to be greater than zero, then there are two real solutions because you're square rooting a positive. If b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, meaning it's negative, then there's two imaginary solutions. And if the radical is exactly zero, you're square rooting zero. The zero solution? No. You'll end up with a number plus or minus zero. And plus and minusing zero means there's really only one solution because you won't get two possibilities. The end is supposed to be then. Who's here? All right. Two. Welcome. You made it. Um, if you would like to take a picture of the screen, this is number two for Bowers. I know.
So we're just gonna do one example. No, just for the discrimination. So this is very many we didn't do this yesterday. After we're gonna practice this before we learn how to use our time card. Um, it says find the discriminant and then describe their solution. So I'll write this again for you. The discriminant is B squared minus 4AC, which is the bit under the left side. No, we gotta do it. So A is 1, B is negative 11, and C is negative 26. So we're gonna calculate it. Negative 11 squared. Minus 4 times 1 times 1. That's the hardest part of trying to read that. So discriminant. What is discriminant? Okay, so I think we were looking at here is 121. Minus 4 times negative 26. Okay, there's 121. We're going to write it here. 104? I got the wrong one. Look at the wrong one. Pretty good. Oh, I'm serious. Yeah, it does exactly. You get the right. Okay, 121 plus 1 squared, 1 times 5, 225. Don't make mistakes, it's the time of the day. 225, okay. So what's the point of this? Why did we do this? We did this um, to identify what kind of solution we're going to have. To identify what kind of solution. So we said the result is positive. I'm going to write this in a whole sentence. You don't have to write this whole sentence every time you do a discriminant, but I'm going to do it now just to um, explain it. So because 225 is greater than 0, because 225 is greater than 0, this quadratic has two real solutions. I used to like skip this and then um, I saw it showing up on the SAT. So I thought, hey, I need to learn how to do that. So, you know, it's cool to know the quadratic quadratic and know what kind of solutions you have but on the SCT sometimes they um they slip questions in about this so I wanted to explain what the discriminant is if this was a negative then I would say this quadratic has two imaginary solutions and if it was perfectly zero I would say it has one solution so um that's it let's look at your um homework Take a look at your homework. You completed the square? Yeah. That's cool. I love to hear you doing math. Yeah, you're warming up to it.
you got 16 and 4 and 4. Yeah, that's okay. Is that what it's like? Um, it's in the bra. Uh, we got 2 can all reduce. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 over 2 is 1. So I could have put a 1 there, or you can leave it out. So I purposely put the work up here so you can see, well, I got it right there, and I stopped. You know, some people stopped here. Some people stopped here. Some people stopped here. You need to see where you messed up and fix it. Yeah, because the answers are the same regardless of what way you solve them. So it's a little moment for you to see that. All right, should we go to the next two? 19 and 20. Well, this is the, well, first off, you're not showing up for it, right? Because you jumped from this to 30. So you're probably not using it enough for it. Wait, what number is this? 17. Wait, what? So, 
And here's uh, 22. You can't divide it before you put the two in front of the rest of them. So that's what it is. We just expanded it. Anybody question? Okay. All right, so um the rest of the class, this is what we have to do. We got 30 minutes. So what's next? Right, the coloring sheet. So you got um 12 quadratic formula questions on here. Um <laughs> If you color it, turn it in Monday, I'll give you extra credit. So the coloring is not required, but if you want to color it, I will give you extra credit for matching those solutions and doing the whole activity. Um, so we're going to do quiz corrections, the quizzes I just put in yesterday, the open note quizzes. And then when you're done with that, you'll grab this and start working on it. Are right, you doing corrections in red pen or on a separate piece of paper? What if you have a black pen? Hey, here we go. So before I can start, you might want to make yourself a note at the top, please, so that you um, remember uh, must equal zero to begin. So I'm not even going to start the formula until I cancel this three out. So this is the equation I'm doing the formula for. So with this one, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and identify that a equals 2, b equals 0, and c is -2. Well, B always has like X next to it, not X squared, specifically X. So this one is kind of um, more appropriately written 2x squared plus 0x minus 3. Yeah. Is that an option on the ice cream thing? Like it answers it on there. You could ask Autumn, do you punch it on? What'd you get? Isn't it one and negative one? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, orange. So when you're coloring for extra credit, all of the ones you color orange. I'll wait. Let me know what let me know what question you have. I'll wait. So you color all the ones orange? Negative B. Is that what you said? You color all the ones orange? Yeah, that'll do it. That one negative sign. How annoying. Okay. Like, don't judge the design until you see the finished product. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be like a stunning piece of art. Yeah. Well, that was my claim. No credit. No extra credit. Yes. No, I know how to check colors. I'm like, no, no, no. I know. I know what the colors are. That's like more color box. Let me know. Which colors are you colorblind for? That, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. No. Red and purple? No. Yeah, red and blue is a thing. No, it's, no, it's, it's green and red. And yellow and blue, I think. That's what it is. Green and red colorblind is actually really common. There's probably someone in this room who is green and red colorblind. No, they've gone through their life. They're not. Who is? Yeah. I it's it's fun. Oh, it's kind of... I believe we got another zero for me here. Focus on your math. Focus on your math. This is kind of a lot of work. Let's, let's get as much done as we can. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Um. So, Kaylee, can you can you do four times two times five like all at the same time? Yes, you can. Four times two times five. Yeah. So do it all at once. Mm. So do it all at once. Four times two is eight times five is fourteen. Just write a forty now. Just giving you advice if you're overwhelmed by the number of numbers. Okay, go ahead. You're in an emergency? Yeah. He, he drank a whole bottle of water. So, so the A squares are separate. So I canceled this one. What is so awesome about this particular handout is that you won't find the answer on the answer sheet unless you put it in simple form. So in the workbook, you might have stopped here. But now you're looking at the handout and you're like, wait a minute, this answer is not here. You're going to be forced to reduce to find the actual answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So this is what you worked with. A is negative two, and C is negative five. So, did you have negative four, negative two, and negative five? What'd you write? Okay. Well, that's exactly it. Take it off from here then. I've only got a third two. I'm going to start. I need to turn the negative form on the bottom. I need to write it back turn it into a positive. Um, so this plus or minus kind of consumes it. Like the negative just switches it. It makes it minus or plus, which is equivalent. No, not just anything at all. Just disregard it. What is it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you have to do, you have to solve them for um, credit for homework, but coloring is extra credit. You don't have to color. No. People wish in. Yeah, it has to be the right color. Oh, no. You got to have the work to back it up. Stop, stop. You guys, there's three minutes still. Stop, chill. Like, let's do three. You got, which one do you want me to rewrite? Alright, here's the 
I don't know. He looks like regular X. X Thank you. 